This is a video of how to replace the casing that also holds the battery and the battery cover of your wireless microphone. You might need to do this if you have this problem where the case part breaks and the part that holds the battery breaks. So you can't just buy a new cap. Well, recently you can now. A new mic costs a little over $200. This repair kit costs a little under $30. However, they warn you when you get it that it is not an easy repair. So I'm making a video of how you can do it, even though they're right, it is not easy. You will need a pair of needle nose pliers, a one half inch wrench, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and maybe some tweezers and probably a flashlight just to kind of get a look at what's going on inside figure this out so this is only my second time doing it so if this video gets posted that means it worked okay so so to do this repair you actually are going to wind up taking this entire microphone completely apart it's going to be held together just by the little wires that connect the circuit board which is inside of here so to get at it uh, you need to start at the top actually pull off that windscreen and then you will need to screw this part off so to the left we'll loosen it and eventually it will come off after you get that off this is the kind of scary part but you will have to pull this up this is a little rubber dampener I guess you would call it I'm not really an expert I'm just a man trying to get this done so it's a dampener you pull this out and what needs to happen next is this whole little section has to come out so it had a little glue in it so you will have to pull it and eventually it will come out just like that and so they had a little glue around it and a little bit of resistance you want to pull it out carefully because there's a wire right here and you don't want to break this wire but you do need to open this up so that's that's where you are after that there is a bolt I don't know if you can see that but a half inch bolt that is well, I guess technically that's a half inch nut that goes right around there that nut is actually holding this whole assembly together So right on the inside, you can see that, okay. and that's why you have this. And maybe if you can't see it, I'll shine a little light out. So there that is. is there. Mm -hmm. Now this little plastic piece around it, uh, you are probably going to have to break off because they have glued it in place. So you'll need to move that out carefully. So that's what we'll do next. We have to take out this bolt and loosen that and they have this little plastic cover on it and it looks like they use some kind of cement rubber cement or something to put that cover on that bolt I'm not exactly sure why I'm sure they had a good reason but if you're going to do this repair it has to come off so you can take your needle nose pliers and carefully you won't be able to see this but basically wedge it around and press that until it comes off and of course you're being very careful so you don't break that wire that's it you heard that sound that is the cement coming loose I'll pick it up so you can see it so now the cement comes off that comes right out okay so now you have that out, and you can get that out like that. And next thing you have to do is loosen this bolt. Now, very thorough makers of this microphone, it is cemented on in place. So I could not just take this and twist it because I was afraid I would break the wire. So you take the back part of your pliers. And Stick it in here, 
this way so that you will be able to have enough force to turn it whichever way works best for you I think this way is going to work and you get it in there on the bolt or on the nut and then you turn and you hold the microphone steady and you just turn it and I'll bring it around so you can see basically you have it here and you're turning this way and you just have to patiently keep turning and it will come loose now I'm laying it down because I don't want to have pressure on these wires every time I pick it up they're dangling and if they break it's over so you gotta be very careful with those they're delicate that's part of the not easy so you're taking off this bolt it's very tight and so you'll have to use the handle of your pliers to go through that end of your wrench and twist that's the only way to get the right kind of force that you need because you don't want to damage any other parts of the microphone it's very very tight uh, since this is my only my second time doing it I had to go off camera to get the rest get my nerves together make sure I could actually pull it off and you see it get loose you'll feel it very loose and you can tell it's quite a bit of pressure that it's going to put on your pliers to get that to turn so it's very tight okay so after you get it pretty much loose you can probably get your finger in and then you will have it you will feel it come off see that so the whole thing is off now and now you want to lay this down this way because everything's going to have to come apart now so as you pull that let's carefully work that out there you go and you will see that mm -hmm. and so that's on the other side of this on the other side of the microphone housing so now at this point you're ready to take the back off and just do that and screw this off which is part of the problem and you take your Phillips screwdriver and you loosen this screw and it should come right out and there's another one on the other side can you explain the blue tape? and that's that so if you have the if you're doing this repair it's probably because the batteries won't stay in place and so best thing we came up with was blue tape because this little piece breaks and so that's why you're replacing all of this so maybe you use another color tape or some other way you found to stick it in there but that's what why the tape is there okay so now that you have this all separate this is two separate pieces. The top comes up and you can feel this ring. You can slide it forward just a little bit and that's really why you had to do all of this because if you had to just open it from the back you can't get it off because it's just the way it's made. That little disc is held together with that bolt. So now that you have this loose you can remove the top and you'll see the circuit board on the inside and you can carefully lift up the circuit board. Where are you holding it by? And well, these are the battery prongs that you can use to lift it, or the edge, whatever you're most comfortable with. And then you'll be able to slide it out from under there. Can you do that again? And you'll see how it was connected this way. This disc was around there, which is why you had to do all of that. Now one thing may happen, this may fall off, it's not that big a deal, if it comes off you just stick it back on. What's this? This is the little button that was on the microphone to turn it on and off. Oh, yeah. So, if it comes off, it's not too big a deal, it happens, you stick it back on. So this is, these are the old pieces, the new pieces are here, you're about to put it all back together, so you screw this off, 
and you'll see this is what will hold the battery in place that's new and you'll notice that they don't give you any screws so you'll need to hang on to those and also there's no plastic cover here so I decided to reuse the old one now you could put it together without it but if you do then it might be possible for it to breathe to get in here which is eventually going to be a problem so I would recommend just reuse this old half this is the half that probably breaks anyway uh, if this part breaks then you'll have to figure out how to get this out and stick it in here okay so now that you have it all apart and you're ready to put the new business together put that away and you will raise this up and slide that in interestingly you see there's a little notch on the bottom so this lets you know it has to be it has to face that way and you slide that right in place and this is what it looks like there's also this little piece right here this is a wire that goes through so that should be there on this side of the, the plate if for some reason you pull it all the way out maybe you broke it already so you don't need to see the rest of this but hopefully you didn't just be very careful with that leave it on that side and so that little wire, yeah. you have the bottom and you have this and now you'll need to put this back in place see there's a little hole there it goes there so without too much work it normally goes in place little black piece back in and also you'll notice that this has to be turned a certain way this, this piece here uh, to match up with this half here so this half of it which is down there has to be here which means for this to be in place correctly you just look at it and you'll see there's a little that see there's a little piece right there and so it has to be turned this way before you put it back together or else it won't fit right so you pick up the bottom slide that in place there you go then the top that you are reusing easily goes back into place now and so now you have the back all together and I'd say you might as well go ahead and tie this back down so you take your screwdriver and put these screws back in place so now you're all set basically you you solve your problem you just gotta put it back together which is the reverse of how we took it apart uh, eventually you're gonna screw this back on but first you need to push that in and you can see how this is all gonna go back together now you just slide that back over there hold it up now let's see you can get all that little stuff out of there might be a little piece of that rubbery glue they had in there and once you get that back together you take your hand and tighten it up put it all back together and that's it so this is tightening that bolt nut back in and carefully to avoid breaking these wires you'll get it pretty close hand tight but then you have to go back to this little arrangement get it to go the rest of the way So that's how it goes. And you put it on there and just turn it, tighten it down. Need it tight because you don't want this coming loose. If it's loose and rattling, that's going to be noise. So that's it.
And once you get that back in place, you put this back in, put your gasket back in place. This is nice and flexible, so it's not too difficult to get back in place. And I guess if you wanted to, you could take some glue and try to glue this little piece back on top of that bolt. I'm going to try to see if I can make it work without doing that, but if I was going to do it, if it doesn't work, I'd maybe use something like this, or maybe you know something better. Just put a little dab in there, and put that bolt, put it right on top there. But other than that, once you get this back in, and you screw this back on, and that should do it. Of course, you don't want to get this cross-threaded, which if you took it off, you should be able to put it back on, just like that. And you're all done. So that's how you can repair this microphone, wireless microphone. It's is a uh, EV Electro Voice is the model, and this is probably the one that you have. HTU2D, and that's the model written right there. Uh, sometimes you'll see it online as RE-2 or something like that, but it's it's the same microphone. A lot of people have this one. So that's the one. You screw it back in. Now, of course, if you don't want it to happen again, the replacement feels a little sturdier than the original one was. It's a little brittle. But you could get yourself a small little o ring and put it in here. Rubber, yeah, rubber o ring to go here. And then just tighten it to that, which would keep it from being over tightened in the case that uh, those who tighten it are not as careful as they would like to be from time to time. So that's the only idea I have and uh, that's how you can repair this mic put it back together and you are all set